I guess uh, to start off with, I thought that uh, I thought our team um, play, played really well. Um, you got to give a lot of credit to uh, to Valpo and, and Bryce. You know, I think uh, I think his team's really talented. Uh, I think they play hard. I think they're well coached. Uh, I thought that uh, getting getting bugs in foul trouble uh, helped us. Um, we tried to, to isolate them a little bit and, and see if that couldn't happen in the first half, and, and we were fortunate um, that it did. I thought as the game went on, uh, our team uh, somehow uh, continues to have pretty darn good poise um, late in games and in tough situations. We seem to we seem to always come through, and if, if we don't make a shot, we get a great a great look at it. Uh, so so really, I mean, obviously, pretty pleased with with our team uh, tonight. Those of us that haven't seen you guys a lot here are 60% shooting. Is that uh, unusual? No, no. Well, it wasn't. I took over the shooting coaching uh, <laughs> yesterday. No, it is. Now, now that being said, uh, offensively, we have, we've scored a lot of points. Um, we did, I, I don't know what our season number is. It's, it's probably mid-40s. But, uh, but we did make some shots. And I thought, uh, I thought the reason why our percentage was so high, in the first half, we shot 61 per 61%, and we only took five threes. Uh, at times, our team can settle for threes, and I think that lowers our, our percentage and our efficiency. And, uh, and then the second half, um, you know, we made a few threes when we really needed to, but I thought we, we got a lot of rhythm offensively by, by getting the ball in the lane um, and, and getting to the foul line. They go on that run, 9-0 run, take a one-point lead, and you guys come down and hit some big shots. Did you say anything? You know, I don't think there was a timeout at that point. Did you say anything from the bench? Or was well, we, I mean, well, we, we tried to, uh, to obviously get uh, a couple of our set plays against. Uh, you're, you're talking when they kind of went 1-3-1, one, one and, and we struggled a little bit. Uh, we tried to get the ball uh, back inside to Trey, and uh, we got it in there. A couple fouls. Uh, he made a bucket, and then we, uh, we got a three in the corner from, uh, from Smithers. That, that was a big shot, uh, a big shot tonight. You know, what did you think of it? I mean, after that, you know, you're up by 10, they, they cut it to five. Was there ever any panic? Uh, try not to. Um, I think it's critical, uh, especially we've got a young team, and uh, you know we do have some some upperclassmen that have that have really good experience in some areas. But but I think it's critical that uh, that as a coach, when when things may be going hectic around you, you got your team's going to look to you and your reactions. So. In terms of panic inside, yeah, we're really thinking, okay, how do we how do we get a good basket here? How do we stop? But in terms of uh, external, you know, emotions, I, I really try to keep it in check because uh, I do think your team feeds off it. And if they see you panicking over on the sidelines, um, I think that can lead to them being a little bit uncomfortable. So all the credit. I mean, our guys played well. Uh, we got them in some spots and they executed some things, which uh, which was really really great to see. Coach, talk about the energy that you saw out there. I mean, Mario was out there diving on the floor, giving you hustle. Johnny was on the floor a bunch of times. Uh, you know, one through one through twelve uh, was that energy level a big key tonight for you guys? It was, and you know, we try uh, we try to have our hang our hat on three things. We we want to have more energy than our opponent. We want to be tougher than our opponent, and we want to be more unselfish than our opponent. Uh, those are kind of the three things, uh, three areas where we we really try to hang our hat. And, and I thought tonight uh, our energy was, was really good. Uh, I thought our toughness late. Uh, was good, and then uh, you know our assist numbers were pretty good in terms of unselfishness. So, uh, so no, I thought it was it was a great environment. Uh, our team played really well, and uh, it's it's good. Uh, it was a good win. You got a guy like Johnny Marlin hitting a three pointer from 28 feet as the shot clock expires in a two point game. That's got to give you guys a little bit of energy. You didn't think that was a set play? <laughs> Just running down to 34. Yeah. No, it is. And, you know, Johnny can make shots. We're, we're trying to get him. He's doing better the last few games of, of looking for his shot more. Uh, teams early in the year, because he is so unselfish, they wouldn't even, they, they wouldn't help off him when he got in the lane. They just, everyone stayed locked in. And, you know, he, he had a few turnovers because of it. Uh, so now we're trying to get him to be a little bit more aggressive. Uh, Ten points is a career high. I think six shots uh, it is close to, to a career high. I'm not exactly sure on, on that number. But he needs to look for a shot more, obviously. You know, the, the ball you're talking about was, uh, you know, a deep one in desperation. It went in for us, which was fortunate. But, but we do need him to look for, his, look for his offense more. Obviously, when you talk about mid-major basketball, Valpo has some cachet. What does a win like this uh, mean to you? And during your time here at ICSW, where does this uh, rank up there? Oh, it's, it's a good win. You know what I mean? It's a good win. Um, 
you know, no, no disrespect to, to what they're doing, but we've been competitive with them the last four years. You know what I mean? This is three of four. Um, and again, that's something we hang our hat on because those, those are good wins. When, when you beat Valpo, uh, that, that's a good quality win for your program. Uh, and feel, you know, I feel good. I feel good for our guys. I'm, I'm glad uh, that we sent our seniors off, especially our Indiana seniors. Uh, with, with that win over Valpo was, was a good one. They'll be able to brag about that for a long time. How long are you going to let Frank sit there with three fouls next year? Oh, I don't know. Um, I wanted to leave him there long enough to where if he picked up number four, we could leave him in, as opposed to uh, if, if we put him back in and he gets number four with, say, you know, 10, 12 minutes, now you, you have to take him out again. So, so the thought was let's sit him and, uh, and just see if, if we can continue to ride this thing out and then get him back in in a situation where when he got number four, if he got number four, then we could just ride it out with him uh, as opposed to, um, you know, I hate to have him on the floor get number four and we still got 15 minutes to play. And now you've you got to sit him and hope he doesn't get, when he does go back in, you've got to hope that he, uh, he doesn't get number five uh, or then he goes in and plays a little bit tentative because he's worried about getting number five. So we sat him there. And it was also good for some of our young guys. You know, we need to get uh, Joe Edwards, you know, Ike McCray, Johnny Marlin. Um, those guys got to get out and play um, so that as we go through the season, as they go through the career, they're going to be in situations like that. We can't always just, just rely on Frank. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm happy as heck he's with us. But, uh, but it was good to get those guys out there and, and have them handle it so well.